And so in 2001, when I was about 25, I got um, a flu virus and um, it just didn't go. It, it, well, it, it sort of started to go and then I'd be well for a few days and then it would come back and then it would go and then it would come back. And eventually it just didn't go. The, the gaps of feeling well just disappeared and I so then I was um, diagnosed with post viral fatigue it was like having flu all of the time to varying degrees so I had headaches like really bad headaches extreme tiredness um, sore throats and that kind of flu like malaise that you get um, and I was tired and wired so I couldn't sleep and I felt jittery and I had and I've had just like such a poor immune system. So quite often having a bug every four to six weeks. So it hasn't been much fun. Yeah. And, and of course, all that goes with that of like having to give up work, you know, try to push on really hard to keep working. Um, and, you know, like complete lack of social life, then not being able to go out. I was housebound most of the time. Um, all of the things that go with that and then depression and anxiety partly because of health and partly because it was really horrible you know physically being in that situation in that circumstance but I tried um lightning process many dietary things like macrobiotics high protein raw food juicing green smoothies eating meat eating no meat fasting homeopathy, meditation, EFT, NLP, Psyche, journey work, yoga, Qigong, Tai Chi, acupuncture, Chinese herbs, Western herbal medicine, shamanic healing, reverse therapy, supplements of many kinds, medical dowsing, energy medicine, B12 injections, so many things, probably many more than I've listed here. Um, and I spent thousands and thousands and thousands um, and lots of time and energy doing that and as i say that they i'm sure they had a positive impact and i and some of those things i still do but they didn't have like the and, and some of those things i tried for a long time i didn't just like do a bit here and a bit there some of them i did for long periods um and i'm sure they helped to varying degrees um but didn't significantly improve my health but I they wasn't until I until I was told about the Buteco method and I started practicing that I really saw incredible shifts in my health and within a few days of practicing I um I just felt a robustness in my health that I hadn't that I hadn't felt before, that I could finally rely on my body. I just my body had been so fragile and so, like, if I do the slightest thing wrong, then I would get um, terrible symptoms and feel worse. For example, if I had a bad night, which was quite often, because, um, yeah, I've had problems with sleeping, then it was almost inevitable after a bad night that I would get um, a bug, some kind of cold or flu that would last, that I would get much worse than most people would, and it would last for a week to three weeks. Um, so, you know, ha being reliable enough to work was pretty impossible. Um, now, you know, after quite a short period of practicing Buteco, I'm at this, you know, I was at the stage after a very short period where I would have a bad night, maybe not get to sleep till three or four in the morning, um, and then be able to go to work the next day and work as a personal assistant for a disabled woman. And although it was, you know, a part-time day and I would feel tired, I wouldn't get ill and I wouldn't get a bug and I would manage. I would get through the day and <laughs> that's incredible. So I've been able to take on more work and therefore for the first time in years, I've been able to start to save, whereas I've been scraping by for years because I haven't really been able to do much work, if any. And I just feel, I feel more energy and um, yeah, that reliability, the fact that I can rely on my body is incredible. And one of the first changes that I had was I'd always for years while I was ill, my blood sugar was really up the wall. I would just be hungry. When I was more ill, I was just ravenously hungry because my blood sugar was all skew with. 
and um, it was like, um, yeah, I had to always think about having food with me if I went out and I'd always be like having to think about having enough food with me and then I'd eat enormous amounts and and then I'd be hungry half an hour later and have to eat again. <laughs> it was just horrible. And then within very short time of practicing, I noticed that my blood sugar was, was leveling out and I wasn't ravenous. I didn't have these periods of ravenous hunger and I didn't have to eat much as, as much. And, um, it felt, I can't tell you what, what a relief that was to me. Like it's hard to know if you haven't had blood sugar issues, what a relief it is. It felt like such a great freedom that I didn't have to constantly be thinking about food and that I wasn't, didn't have all this kind of hunger and then kind of tiredness and from low, low blood sugar. And, and now I, I lately, since I've been practicing for a while, I, I find often I don't have to eat more than twice a day and I don't get ravenous hunger pangs and, and I don't have to eat as much. And it's just such a relief. I don't have to think about food all the time. It's, it's wonderful. It's, it's really amazing because um, for the time that I've been ill for, for 14, 15 years, um, being around people has been really um, exhausting. And so I've been a hermit, even though I love being around people and being with people. I just couldn't, couldn't cope with, it was just too exhausting talking and being around people and um, that was really hard but I kind of got used to it um, and, uh, and then more recently um, since I've been practicing for a while now and um, for just over a year um, I'm, I'm able to actually have a social life now it's incredible so I'm able to go out more I've just started going out in the evenings, which I couldn't, pretty much couldn't do before. And I've started having not just one friend around, but having gatherings. And it's just brought me so much joy. And um, yeah, it's like a part of me has woken up that has been in like dormancy for years. And I'd forgotten how much I love being around people in that way. But for such a big chunk of my life, I couldn't do that. It was just too too exhausting and overwhelming I just my nervous system would get really overstimulated and then yeah it just would make me more ill so yeah that's such a blessing so now rather than only being able to work and rest I can work rest and play which is really nice uh, I wasn't really able to walk long distances until I started Buteyko practice and quite soon into the practice I started being able to do longer walks and um, so I've done quite a few now in, um, in the last year or so and um, like being able to walk like two to five miles I mean, it's just amazing because I love walking and I just haven't been able to do that for years and I went on a walk recently that was five miles and it was so joyful to walk with friends and to feel, to feel no anxiety about going. Actually, I woke up in the morning and felt tired and wondered whether I should go, but I went. But it wasn't really an anxiety, but I went and I felt good all the way through. I, it was so, so enjoyable. Physically, I felt completely fine and I was walking at the pace of people that had no health issues. And afterwards, I was, after five miles, I, would, I could have probably walked another two to five miles. I felt so full of energy. And I felt full of energy for all, all of that evening. No tiredness, like just so healthy, I felt. And that's just amazing. Yeah, so I'm so grateful to have been told about this practice and so I, I, um, I looked into the Viteko method um, when someone told me about it and I actually I was reluctant to do a course because I thought I could do it on my own so I started practicing um, on my own from resources that I found and um, 
and I got I got results, but um, but after about three months of practice, um, other people were doing courses, um, and I felt just a pull to actually learn. I thought actually I don't want to leave any more time. It makes more sense for me to learn how to do this really really well and really properly rather than carrying on on my own, which might not be correct, and I might not be getting the best results. So I looked into, the, there are so many schools teaching Boteco, and I looked into all the different schools, and there are um, different ways now, it's kind of different schools have taken it in different directions to the way Boteco developed the method. And... I really wanted to to train with the right school to really learn the the method in the best way. And so I did quite a lot of research and I emailed different schools and I asked questions and and I looked at testimonials and I you know and and really I chose um Learn Buteco school because um the senior practitioners really there's such a close lineage to Professor Buteco. So um, Vladimir is a, one of the senior practitioners and he has he worked directly with Professor Buteco for 24 years um, so you know there are not many people on this planet who've had such close um, contact with Professor Buteco to really learn in depth how to use the method and how to teach the method and also one of the other teachers Chris um, trained for 10 years with Stalmatsky, who was very close, um, closely worked with Buteyko himself. So, yeah, I just, I really thought there's no other school out there that has such um, close connections with Professor Buteyko and also that offers training so um, affordably. I mean, I, I was, I had very little money and I didn't want to um, spend even the cost of the of the five-day introductory basic beginners course because I was so low on money but um, it's it's really the most affordable training and and I think the best training that's out there and it was so worth so worth spending investing in that money and like looking back I can't believe I had any resistance whatsoever to to spending that money because compared to the thousands of pounds I've spent on other other things to help my health that was just just such a just such a low amount of money to invest and it's given me a skill that I can then use on my own and I have complete empowerment as to how I use that which I love um so yeah I really recommend the the, the teachers are really really committed and really genuine and they just want other people to to um, be empowered to regain their health in the way that they have and also specifically there are three teachers in the school that have had chronic fatigue for many years and are completely well now so that also for me having had chronic fatigue syndrome ME that was a real big um, bonus to training with this school and I just found them really really helpful and supportive and amazing that they offer free follow-up um, calls once a month which is just so generous and just shows their desire to really support people yeah so I'm just I'm I can't tell you how grateful I am to have discovered this method and this school and I just can't recommend it highly enough you want Mm. Yeah, I was um, because I was so ill and I didn't have very much income and I had no savings. I was really reluctant to do the, even reluctant to do the first five day beginners training. Um, and so I, it took me about three months to really kind of um, get round to to actually kind of realizing that this would be a good idea to learn how to do the practice properly because I realized you really need to learn with um with a proper teacher so that they can check your practice and so that you're really learning the method properly and um yeah looking back I can't believe that I had any resistance to spending 
that amount of money on a beginner's course because compared to what I've spent, all the thousands I've spent, it was a tiny amount for the amount of, um, of value that I've received through doing this method. Because this is returning me to health and I have no doubt that this, is, this will be the thing that returns me to 100% health. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, the best investment that, uh, that I've ever made in all these years of illness. Um, so yeah, I really recommend investing in, in learning properly how to do this method.